What's up, peoples? It's your man, Harkon Ajala, a.k.a. the Bad Boy Genius. Hey, I know I'm in my truck, and I'm, you know, this is going to be off the cuff, but I really couldn't wait to record this for you just because, you know, I was waiting today. Football season starts today, and um, something happened, and I thought, I, get, I need to share this with my people because it underscores something that's critically important for you to understand if you really want to build a life for yourself that has significance and meaning and will be fulfilling to yourself okay whether you know whether it's talking about wealth or uh, a goal or cause that you want to work for whatever it is um, if you want to build a life that's successful meaning it's fulfilling to you and it has meaning you need to understand what I'm about to share with you so you know, I'm a big fan of the Indianapolis Colts. Most people who know me know that. And today was supposed to be their first preseason game, Hall of Fame game. So this it was the name of it. And it's not that it's all that big a deal, but, you know, it's the first time you get to see the new team. And particularly, you get to watch a lot of the rookies um, and see how they're progressing, uh, get a glimpse of what they might bring to the team this year. So I was definitely looking forward to a big time. And, uh, you know, I went downstairs and uh, was all set up in front of the uh, TV. And I turn it on, it's not on. And then I, I go on the internet, like maybe I'm looking in the wrong, I'm on the wrong channel. Cause I don't, you know, I don't have cable or any shit like that. I got Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. But, you know, it's, to me, it just didn't make sense to pay for cable. I don't watch TV much, enough, nearly enough for it to be worth it for me and most of the shit on there is just you know I'm not interested in it so anyway uh, I'm looking for the channel and I see on the internet that they canceled the game they're like game was just canceled uh, an hour ago because the field is fucked up they couldn't get the field again that's crazy right uh, the NFL multi-billion dollar enterprise can't get the fucking field correct so I'm a little pissed off but I'm like, ah, eh, oh well. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and finish this book. I'm just finishing up uh, the Ten Pillars of Ten Pillars of Wealth by Alex Becker. Um, outstanding book, outstanding book. I'll, I'll do another video uh, reviewing the book here shortly. But um, anyway, because I'll finish that book tonight. So anyway, but here's the thing. Here's why I bring this up. Um, under the comments section of the post on the blog that was, you know. Tell, announcing that this game had been canceled, people were just absolutely fucking losing their minds. Freaking out, angry, upset because this game had been canceled. And it made me think about, you know, what I see all the time on Facebook. You know, people, you know, unbelievably invested emotionally uh, in terms of their time, sometimes their money, their energy, in all kinds of things, politics, People have lost their mind about politics, sports, TV shows, movies, people arguing back and forth. Uh, you know, people want to shut down Rotten Tomatoes because Rotten Tomatoes gave a, uh, low, <laughs> a low review score to Suicide Squad. And I saw the movie and it is, it is a terrible movie. Doesn't mean some people might not like it, but it's not a good film. Anyway, that's beside the point though. If you love the movie, my opinion doesn't mean anything to you, and, and neither does Rotten Tomato, right? It doesn't make any difference. But what I but here's why here's why I'm telling you all this. I need you to understand that if you want to live a life of significance, a fulfilling life, a life um, of abundance, health, wealth, love, and happiness, all the you you want to hit check all the boxes. Um. What you have to learn to do, and you have to make this a habit of thought and action, is to invest 95% of your time, energy, emotions, everything you have needs to be invested in things that literally, literally work to your benefit, are in your self-interest, move you forward in some way towards your goal, not shit that does the same for others 
You can't have all your, you can't have 95% of your time, energy, money, emotions invested in uh, ventures that make other people money, that build other people's dreams, that increase other people's relationships. You feel me? Now, this is, I'm telling you this because it's, it's super easy to fall into this trap. Why? Because it's what 95 to 98 percent of the public are doing talking about posting about tweeting about facebooking about instagramming about snapchatting about right youtubing about 98 percent of the public is pouring 95 percent of their energy into shit that does not affect them one way or another politics movies sporting events uh reality shows celebrity lives all of this shit okay none of it affects you directly okay what's going on with jay-z and beyonce's marriage i don't give a fuck and i love jay-z jay-z is one of my favorites uh favorite lyricists and rap artists of all time i dig beyonce beyonce is one of the hottest women ever walked the planet um I, I hope everything goes great for them, but I don't give a fuck personally what's happening in their marriage. Why? Because it doesn't affect me one way or another. I'm pouring my energy, emotion, my all my resources, I'm pouring 95% of my resources into my fucking relationships, into my marriage, in the relationship with my children. People mad about what's wrong with Jaden and uh, Willow Smith. What's wrong with Will and Jada's kids? What the fuck do you care? Worry about your kids. Put your energy and resources and emotions and investments into your children. Because let me tell you this. You know, I, I, I watched the uh, interview with Will and Jada's kids. They were talking about concepts that I guarantee you 99% of the public of adults don't know shit about. So you got people like making fun of it. You don't even know what, anything about it. So in most cases, they're talking about shit you just don't know. You're making fun of it, but you just don't know about it. The point is, doesn't matter what you think. It has nothing to do with you. So again, I'm gonna end this because I'm gonna head in here and, and uh, pick up some dinner. Uh, we don't eat out a whole lot, but tonight we're just having some dinner, uh, picking up dinner as a treat for the fam. But here's the deal, okay? You can be in the 5%, or you can be in the 95%, okay? You can be in the top 5%, the top 1% of people who live fulfilled, happy lives of abundance, okay? The people who make shit happen, who make the world go around. Or you can be the people who watch shit happen, watch shit, watch it shit happen, and fucking talks about every goddamn thing. That's all you do is talk, talk, talk. You can be one of those people. You can be one of the people who have no real impact on the world. I, I talk about it in uh, a live video that I'm going to be doing here soon, a live broadcast. You can be one of the influencers or you can be one of the influenced, okay? And the influencers are the people who live the lives that everybody would love to live. The influenced are the people who live the lives of quiet desperation, of misery, of frustration that nobody wants to live, okay? If you want to be in the first group, you want to live the life that people are envious of. You got to pour every bit of your resources, or at least 95% of your resources, time, energy, money, attention, passion, into things that affect and impact your life, okay? And you can take the other 5% and watch sports or whatever with it, okay? If you don't, if you're pouring your uh, all of your resources into things that impact the 5%'s life, the top 5% or the top 1%'s lives, then I just broke it down for you. Whether you like it or not, you may not like the truth of it, but the reality is you're going to die unfulfilled and insignificant and have ha having had no real impact on this world. Again, I'm not trying to be an asshole or trying to be harsh. I'm just keeping it real with you because, you know, just like at times when... I remember times when I was young, everybody remembers this, when a parent 
or a parent, a parental figure, someone who loved you, sat you down and told you the fucking deal. I was like, hey, this is the deal. You need to get on this or pay the consequences. That's what I'm doing for you here. I'm telling it to you the way it really is. Because I don't want to see you waste your life. But if you pour all of your energy, time, and resources into things that impact other people's lives, make other people rich, build other people's dreams, like fucking sports and TV and movies and politics and all the shit I named off, well, now you know what your future's gonna be like. It's gonna be bunk, all right? So, I just wanted to give you that public service announcement because people are fucking killing their lives and they're not even aware of it. I will hit I will hit you up and, and holler at you in the next video. Um, make sure you link up with me on all my social media platforms below and click the link below and, and take the step, if you haven't taken it already, to uh, get my free bullshit, free wealth crash course. Uh, it will impact your life, okay? It's something you can put your attention on that will move you forward towards where you wanna be, all right? Take action today. Live Lux or Die, baby. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.